Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna add this dust separator to the vacuum on my CNC table and we're gonna see if it works. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, so let's just take a step back and look at my current setup. So currently, I just have a flex hose that's hooked up to the dust boot down here. Goes up and over this arm by Rowdy Roman. I'll leave a link to that down below. Uh, goes up and over there, it comes down, hooks into this vacuum that's sitting underneath the table. So it's pretty good, like I, I don't have many complaints. I could clean up this area that's a little junky right now. And then the only other complaint is that I use the, the vacuum bags within the vacuum just to kind of add another layer of dust protection. And I'm going through quite a bit of those. So if I can somehow find a way to prolong those vacuum bags, then I, I think that's gonna be a win in my book. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up one of these dust stoppers and then a bucket and I got a couple other parts that I got online and I'm hoping that this will kind of solve that issue. So to start, let me just roll out this bandsaw just so I get a little bit better access back there and we can get going. All right, so back in this corner, I think that if I can place the bucket somewhere right in there, I think we'll be off to a good start. Then I can hook the dust stopper on top and I can hook this hose right into it and then have another hose leading off of it and to the vacuum cleaner. So let me build like a little platform that's gonna come off of this table and we can get this bucket in place. In order to mount the plywood panel on the side, I first needed to move the power strip over just a few inches. All right, now that I've got this moved over just a couple inches, now I'm just gonna measure for a panel that I can stick on this side. That way I can mount whatever bracket I make for the bucket right to that panel, and it's gonna kind of move with the rest of this table should I ever have to move this table elsewhere. I think that piece is gonna be perfect for this. I swear I didn't plan this out. Yep, that'll work just fine. Then I pre-drilled and secured the panel in place using some 1 and 5 8 inch screws. With the panel installed, I moved on to making a platform for the bucket to sit on. This was made from a few scrap pieces of plywood that I had laying around the shop, and this is just a flat surface with a few other pieces added to it just to give it some rigidity. And to assemble this, I just used some wood glue and some brad nails, and it was good to go. All right, so now I got the shelf kind of made up. I'm just gonna start some screws in here. And then I can lift this into place. So yeah, looking at the shelf, I do realize that it's this close to the ground and I probably could have gotten away with just setting the bucket right on the ground and the whole thing would have worked out just fine. But with all that being said, I still wanted this whole assembly to be attached to the table so that if I were to move this table in the future sometime, that this whole assembly would move with it. So that's the reason that I have this shelf in place and attached to the side of the table. All right, let's open this up to see what's all included. All right, so we got a 36 inch hose right here. Got a couple of elbows like that. And then this is the main uh, piece that we're going up for. This is the dust stopper. So this just sits right on top of a bucket, a five gallon bucket and just snaps in place. So you see that there's two different ports on here. So this goes to, this, and it has it labeled right here, it's the pickup hose. So this hose goes to the tool that you're gonna be using. So in my case, it's gonna go to the router for my CNC. And then this port is gonna go to the vacuum. So it's gonna pull dust in here because you're, you're, the vacuum is pulling air from here. So it's gonna pull air through here. So air and dust is gonna come in here. It's gonna circulate through here and that's gonna drop down into the bucket before it gets picked up through the hose and goes to the vacuum. So that's kind of how the, the separation of this works. Different brand fittings never seem to fit together, so I heat them up with a blowtorch and force them together. All right, so here's a little trick. Once you have, so for instance, this fitting fitting inside of this little sweep, then 
to make it a little bit tighter of a connection, just heat it up again. All right, and once you got it heated up a little bit, take a little hose clamp like this and just tighten it on there. And this is just gonna be temporary as far as the hose clamp goes. But what that's gonna do is it's gonna let the rest of this plastic cool into that exact shape. And then hopefully we can remove the hose clamp and this black piece, for instance, will stay inside of this white piece. So it can still turn in there and I can remove it, but I guess you'll just have to make, take my word for it that this is a lot stronger connection um, than it used to be. And here I'm just adding a couple gussets to the platform just to give it a little bit more strength. All right, so first I'll put my bucket in place and I'll put the dust stopper on top. I can take this crazy contraption that I made and attach that. And that's just gonna go on this back side like this. And it's a tight enough fit, but still loose enough that when I need to empty the bucket, I can just take this off like that and go empty the bucket. Two blast gates right here. So this is the blast gate for the CNC machine. And then this is just like an auxiliary blast gate so that I can hook up a hose right here and clean up anything else kind of that lands on the floor or just kind of around the CNC. Along with just general cleanup with this auxiliary port, I can also hook this hose up to my bandsaw and use it with that. And if I need to pull my bandsaw out and use it, there's plenty of hose to do so. I've just picked up one of these uh, quick connect hose clamps like that. I can put this connection over the top, maybe. All right, so I just took that off. Let's see if I can get this on here. So after a little bit of a struggle, we got that on there. That's gonna fit on there like that. I don't think I need actually this hose clamp because that was that's such a tight fit, but I'm gonna put it on anyways. And to kind of consolidate all these pieces into one spot, I decided to punch a hole through this panel and just run the hose from the vacuum through that hole. So as you can see, I've got all these pieces kind of just cantilevering off of this one port and it's not very secure. So I started to draw out some brackets and manually cut those out, but then I remembered, hey, I got a CNC. So I sat down and I drew a couple brackets out and started to cut those out on the CNC. And this was my initial test with the dust separator and it seems to be working. And obviously these brackets turned out perfect compared to what I was trying to cut out by hand. And once the brackets were cut out, then I could just drill a couple holes in them and use some screws to attach them to the plywood panel. Then I painted the sweep black just to match the rest of the pieces, and while the paint dried on that, I could clean out my dust separator and the vacuum just to test this out and really give you guys an honest look at how well this performs. Alright, so I've got the bucket and the dust stopper all cleaned out as well as the vacuum. There's no vacuum bag in there, the filter is in there though, and everything else is hooked back up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test this out with some of the finest dust that I can think of, and that would be MDF dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-flatten my spoil board on my CNC table here, just because i got some marks here. So I've got a one inch flattening bit chucked up in the router, and I'm going to put this dust boot back on here. And we're going to test this out. We're going to see how much dust that this can really separate from going into the vacuum. So here we go. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> all right, look at all that. I'd say that worked pretty darn well. All right, let me grab the vacuum out of here and see if there is any amount of dust in there. 
Yeah, I mean, looking at this, this is this is amazing. There's a little bit of dust in that corner and that one, but other than that, I mean, that is nothing. There is no dust in this vacuum. If we look at the filter, we can get a little bit of dust off of there, but I, I mean, it's it's not a brand new filter. That, that could be old dust as well, but there is just, there's barely anything in this vacuum, which like I said, I'm kind of astonished by this, that a product that is relatively cheap did such a good job at separating out the dust into that bucket before it reached the vacuum. So yeah, that's pretty much a wrap, and I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. Now, is this the best solution? Probably not. Is it the prettiest thing I've ever made? Absolutely not. But this thing definitely works, and that's really all that matters. Now, just to give you guys some rough numbers, I believe these vacuum bays cost about $10 a piece, and all these parts that you see me use here, including the bucket, the dust stopper, and all these other pieces, was around $50. So in the time that I go through about five of these vacuum bags, I'll have this paid for. But now that I have this dust separator, I'm barely gonna go through any bags at all. So this is my solution for now. It's probably not gonna stay this way forever. Um, I figure once I start kind of laying out a plan for underneath the CNC table and kind of building that out, I'll probably integrate this as well as the vacuum into the underside of the table. But for now, this is gonna work really well and it's gonna save me some money. If you guys found this video helpful at all, or if you just liked it in general, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button down below. That just tells YouTube that this was a decent video and maybe it should pass it on to some other people to watch. And if you aren't already, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. That way you're notified every time I release a new video. I really appreciate you guys watching and until next time, 